Alrighty, welcome to our training series on understanding DJI FlySafe Qualified Energy Program and unlocking certificates as a whole. If you've ever had issues or problems or looking to fly your drone within a geofenced area, hope this video provides all the resources to successfully complete your flight or troubleshoot any issues you may encounter. We'll be covering an overview of the FlySafe system and geozones, how to unlock authorization zones, how to create custom unlocks within the FlySafe portal, the Qualified Entities Program, downloading, enabling, and troubleshooting unlocking certificates, and then resources that kind of cover the content we've gone through. So if there's a specific section you're looking for info on, feel free to skip ahead to that video. First off, going over FlySafe and GeoZones as a whole, so you can understand the concept and different types. So your DJI drone has a GPS within it and also references other navigational satellites to give it a location. And DJI has built in these GeoZones in certain locations where there's airports, prisons, nuclear power plants, or high profile events. And the drones, depending on the type of geozone, are not able to take off within one of these zones or fly into them. So you can see on the right side here, we have a red restricted zone for a prison. If you just took your drone out of the box, you're not going to be able to fly into that restricted zone. As I mentioned, different types of geozones, and those are designated by color. You can see a variety of them on the map here. This isn't necessarily geozones everywhere. But we can see the different colors here being orange, yellow, blue, red, and the grayish black. As I said, these different colors are directly related to a type of geozone. Warning zones are advisory only, so those would be yellow and orange. The blue is an authorization zone that does add flight restrictions and it can be unlocked within the DJI app using an internet connection or a custom unlock from the FlySafe portal can be used. The red restricted zones and the gray black altitude zones also add flight restrictions and require a custom unlocking license, which is requested through the FlySafe portal. Circling back on those altitude zones, you would only need an unlock if you're going to be flying higher than the altitude zone limit. If you're curious regarding if there's geozones within your area or where your operations will be taking place, you can go to dji.com slash fly safe slash geo dash map, select your continent, country, and drone type, and then see the geozones you can easily search using that function in the top right, an address, a city, and get any geozones that may be there. It is key to designate the drone that you'll be using. Uh, some of the older drones, such as maybe an Inspire 1, are going to have a little bit different geofencing, but most everything on the newer side will have the same geozone. So just make sure based on the drone you're flying, you select that in the tab above the map when you're taking a look there. So a few common questions here before moving on. Uh, one of the ones we get often is if you get authorization from your local regulatory body, are you going to be able to take off in a geozone that prevents flight? And DJI's FlySafe system is not connected to other approval systems, so you're going to need to go through the DJI FlySafe portal to unlock the geozone as well. And then on the flip side, going through the DJI geozone and getting approval doesn't necessarily satisfy your local regulations. As the operator, you're solely responsible for ensuring your flights are conducted safely and in accordance with all local laws and regulations. Also, people sometimes are curious why the geozones don't match their local regulatory restrictions. There may be different shapes around the airports. Now, the geozones are a global system and based on risk and policy from organizations such as ICAO and are ultimately a built-in step before flying in high-risk areas with potential aviation or security issues. So once again, they're not necessarily customized 
to specific countries. So that's why you may see some differentiation uh, between your local regulations and the geo zones. And then different process for enterprise drones or users. Right now, we don't have any different process for enterprise drones. However, with the next firmware update for the Matrice 300 RTK series, we will be adding offline unlocking for authorization zones. So we'll detail that in a follow-up video when that feature is available with the Matrice 300. With the new FlySafe unlock portal, there is an ability to designate yourself as an enterprise user. So the FlySafe team reviewing your application knows the drones will be used for commercial purposes by commercial operators. And then we also have the Qualified Entities Program for public safety and government entities. And that's currently for users in the US, Canada, and Europe. So next video, we'll be covering how do you start unlocking these zones, such as authorization zones, but hopefully that covers a good overview for you on what the DJI FlySafe system are and the different types of geo zones.